going on everybody? Uh, it's the second time I'm doing this video. Um, first time I apparently ran out of storage room. Uh, so we're going to go through this a little bit faster. Do a little collection update um, and some other shit. So for Vinegar Syndrome, I got in from Vinegar Syndrome their Black Friday stuff. We got Donuts of the Phone, Brightmare, and graduation day slips. I already have all of the films, so no need to pick those up. Sensor, part of their uh, VSP line, which is a hard box and slip, just like uh, Tix and uh, something else they did like this. I forget what, uh, but never seen this one. I've heard mixed things. Looking forward to checking it out. When I did check out Creature. This one I thought I had seen. I didn't though. I watched the director's cut, uh, which was a little dark. Um, I jumped around in the theatrical cut and that was crystal clear. The print they used for the director's cut wasn't the best and it's a little bit darker than the, uh, the regular movie, but um, I prefer it that way rather than have it all nice crisp crystal clear and have inserts cut into it um like kind of like silent night deadly night just the whole print is a little bit dark just leave it the whole thing like that when you see it like that i could watch the theatrical trailer for a theatrical trailer theatrical cut for a crystal clear version but uh, really enjoyed this one great alien ripoff definitely check this out if you're into a little horror sci-fi Ola Syndrome uh, was shocked that uh, this got a 4K uh, release from Vinegar Syndrome. Um, great movie. Uh, if you've seen the untold story, um, the main actor and I believe director too uh, had done that film and this is uh, another film that they did together. Fantastic. Another Category 3 uh, foreign film from uh, Hong Kong, or I think it's Hong Kong, but definitely check it out. Um, they, Vinegar Syndrome does Blu-rays with the 4K, so no fear. There's even a booklet in this one, I haven't even checked it out yet, but uh, I don't even normally do that with their releases, so getting a booklet with it is pretty cool too. Next up we got Trauma from Dario Argento. Not his best, but uh, hey, it's Argento and Vinegar Syndrome. Why not? Steel and Lace. Never seen this one. Don't know anything about it, but look forward to checking it out. Their first in the VSP line, New York Ninja. Uh, this is their hard box type edition that they did with the, uh, the VSU line. Uh, you've got your art on the inside, you've got your film with slipcover and a booklet. Uh, I waited to get this one. Well, I had ordered it, but uh, I waited for them to send it to me with the package because why well, pay for extra shipping? <sighs> Flesh for Frankenstein, which we have all been dying for. Uh, this includes 4K, Blu ray, uh, two Blu rays, um, a 3D version that you need a 3D TV for, a 3D player, and a regular 3D version that you can use the. Uh, Little glasses take it back to the 80s um, which they do supply in here uh, two slip covers on the inside just like um, scanners uh, I'm keeping my criterion though because the criterion has a commentary that uh, they did not allow it to be uh, ported over so I might actually try to queue it up on my like portable player and uh, listen to the commentary as I watch the film just because I'm a psychopath so it's the same movie, but She Freak, uh, Agfa release. I uh, watched this one on YouTube a little bit and uh, definitely wanted to uh, check it out and uh, uh, being a subscriber, get a little bit of a discount. It's a good way to get it. And last but not least, the new two, two VSUs. They have Tiger Claws 1 through 3, so there's three films here, and TC 
2000, which I've never heard of before. Uh, first glance at it, I thought Demolition Man. I read the synopsis. Uh, forget it off the top of my head, but uh, yeah, looking forward to checking those out. I have all the uh, VSA flying, so this is number 18 and 19. So we're up to 18 and 19 there. So that's what we got for uh, vinegar syndrome. Hope uh, your orders are coming in, and uh, you know, it's gonna take a while because they're quite popular. Uh, this one I had uh, posted and watched, but Kindred um, Steelbook limited to 3,500 copies. They say they're not doing a standard edition. I don't necessarily believe them. Meaning Synapse. Uh, because they said that about all their steel books, and they've done it. However, if they do end up doing a standard, they probably will not. Uh, well, if this comes with a soundtrack, that won't be included, and it probably won't have the bonus features. There aren't a ton. I believe Demons, when they had released it as a, a regular Blu ray originally, there were no special features. Uh, I do have both of those uh, steel books, but um, you get on here like audio commentary, a making of. Uh, which was very good. It was about 50 minutes long. It says 52 minutes, but I think it was a little bit shorter than that. Either way, it was uh, very, very good. Um, still galleries, uh, theatrical trailers, video promotional trailers, TV spots, uh, a compilation of creature effects by uh, artist Michael McCracken that basically was um, handheld video camera uh, during shots that when they were doing the film. Uh, <laughs> The direction being given so that they don't crush the uh, the props that they were using. Uh, if you've never seen this one, it's not a gory uh, creature feature. It's there's a lot of slime and, and stuff like that. Some very cool practical effects uh, in a couple scenes. Uh, but if you're looking for over the top creature feature gore, this isn't for you because uh, there's not a lot of blood in it. Really, barely anything. Uh, it's more slime. And stuff, but the creatures kick ass looking. And uh, I have seen this before, it's a long story why this took so long, but very happy to have it. And uh, look forward to uh, watching it multiple times because it's, it's, a, it's a really good one. Yeah, what else we got here? Got some stuff from Diabolic that came in. We have Phantom of the Mall, and this took a while me to get it because I also ordered it along with Mill of the Stone Women. Another beautiful oops, dropped it, but another beautiful arrow box sets. They're they're hard edition or box editions. Um yeah, I saw people have had this one for like a month now, but I'm just getting it. I know this one is out of print. Uh this one as far as I know is still in print. But uh yeah pick them up if you can if you find them anywhere. Uh, then from Grindhouse releasing. Yeah, I did that. Uh, this is what happens when you work too much and you're just not paying attention. So I got, <laughs> I got them, and I got them. Uh, don't jump too quick though. I don't know what I'm doing with these. Uh, like trade them with somebody or sell them. I don't know what the freak I'm doing, but. Whatever. Comedy one for you. Evolution. I know I showed this off on Instagram. This movie is so goddamn funny. I don't know what took so long to get it on Blu-ray. I'm happy to add that one now. Orbit had a sale. So I picked up Sounds of the Lambs on 4K and Misery on 4K. They do come with Blu-rays. I think the film is on the Blu-rays, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, for Silence of the Lambs, the Criterion has a commentary with uh, Jodie Foster, Anthony Hopkins, and I think a few other people. That is not here. Keep that in mind. Don't get rid of that Criterion if you like commentaries. Misery, there were just a couple things not included from the uh, Screen Factory release. I think it was an interview. One, one was an interview. Uh, but it wasn't, wasn't a ton. It was mostly all ported over. So... I don't know if I'm going to get rid of that one yet or not. The 
Misery. I gotta take a look at it. I also got the Vengeance Trails limited edition set. I saw this was coming out in January as a standard edition. So I, I really, really bought this set. I'm interested in watching all of these, but I really bought this set for a Massacre Time Fulci's film. Um, I was hoping maybe they would do individual releases, but they haven't been doing that. They do the box, and if they re-release it, they just release it as another hard box edition, but without the book, without the poster, and if I'm going to get it, I might as well get it with this, and since Orbit was having a sale, you just got it from Orbit for a little bit cheaper. And last but not least, we got the folk horror box set from uh, Severin. Uh, you guys know I've had my issues with Severin, with the Milligan box set, really. And they're tighter than hell slip covers, but um, they've kind of changed that now with the slip covers. Um, this appears to be the same uh, type as the Andy Milligan set. This is all that's on it. I'm trying not to catch glare and stuff, sorry. But uh, there's a documentary on here in uh, 19 films. So uh, let's hope it doesn't fall apart like the Milligan set did. So, let's open it up and find out. I do enjoy folk horror, so I definitely uh, want to pick this up. Uh, yep, same type of deal with same type of booklet. It's got a book. I believe it's 156 pages. It's a pretty fat. Yeah, about 156 pages and. Uh, Let's see. <laughs> Not good at this, but <laughs> ah, you get the idea. It's glossy. Uh, a lot of info. It looks like. Um, I can look at it really quick. Uh, okay, so, I believe this will be the films. The info on each film. Yeah, doesn't quite look like that. Maybe I should look at it before saying anything. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, little history of folk horror. There's a thick book, 100 and 156 pages. Box is down here. Alright, it didn't come apart. We are, we're in business. Let me try to get this a little bit closer. So you got the documentary. That's the uh, the first disc. I think it's like three hours long. The documentary. I've heard I've heard it's fantastic. And then you've got all your films. It's, like I said, nineteen films. Um, I believe this is it. I can't read. Back with Eyes of Fire. Yeah. So the documentary and Eyes of Fire. They did uh, release uh, separate Blu-rays of. This is Lakirica. This was, there was a German release of this, which I have. Uh, they messed that up in their trailer, saying it was never released before. Uh, v, which is a fantastic, fantastic film. Uh, let me start getting into things, reading them backwards, and I will not be able to do. I've only seen uh, five or six of these films. Uh, I know Dark Waters is in here that Severn has... Uh, previously released, but um, yeah, a lot of these I have not seen before, but I enjoy full car, so um, well, I've had my seven issues with the Milligan box set and them ignoring me, and I feel like there's missing a disc, and that's here, it's in there, just a little more stuffed in, <laughs> I, saw, I just saw the white, that's because they got to shit me right now. Yes, Dark Waters right there. It is, they did a release of that by itself uh, previously, and I think uh, I think I got that one with a side wrap from the director. But uh, yeah, they're sorry about the glare, guys. They're book editions like this, which I really don't like. I, I don't. I, it's cheaper. That's why people do it. But um, yeah, they should not be doing these types. of Books. It should be. Uh, 
it should be like the Christopher Lee set. Now, obviously, this is a lot more discs, a lot bigger, uh, a lot bigger, more bigger set. Um, so to do that with uh, all of these discs might be a little difficult. Uh, the Christopher Lee set, if I remember right, um, I think it was five or six cases with two or three discs in, in each. Um, so even still, that's even short from this. Um, so I think there's 20 discs in here total. But um, looking forward to checking it out. I opened it up. It didn't fall apart. So we're already off to a, a good start. Um, I didn't buy the... Uh, the bundle. Um, I haven't really seen anybody post this yet. I know they Severin said they were shipping it. But I haven't seen anybody really post it yet, so they may have, and I obviously didn't see it because I can't follow everybody. But um, it is possible that other people have gotten this now or are starting to get it. Um, but I haven't seen anybody with that big bundle they had that came with like a plate and all kinds of stuff. But um, yeah, that's what I got. I'm shooting fireworks off right now. It's kind of weird. Oh, and it did come with uh, some stickers. Yeah, paying attention. Uh, last one. There you go. So that's been the recent stuff. Sorry, I kind of ran through this quickly. I uh, wanted to make sure my phone didn't uh, suddenly say I was out of storage again. So that's all we got. Um, I think we got anything else. That's what I got. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're doing better than me. Uh, it's been a rough couple of weeks for me, uh, besides work. Um, unfortunately, my, my grandfather passed away. He was uh, 96, and uh, while none of you, you know, knew who he was, um, I always used to say the same thing to everybody who ever met him. It was okay. Tell me who he sounds like, and. Uh, after meeting him, everybody said the same thing. Said, Holy shit, he sounds like Bela Lugosi. So, every time I watch Dracula or whatever like that, all I hear and see is my grandfather. So, I haven't watched it yet. He, he actually passed away last week. Um, but I know the first time that I, I watch it, I'll probably just sit on my couch crying like a baby. Uh, because, again, like he had like an identical voice to, uh, to Bela Lugosi. And, um, uh, I was off today for all of that. I was a little delayed with everything and whatnot and the way they do things now. Uh, and then I got a call this morning that my cousin passed away, uh, who was, uh, is a little bit older than me. She was 52, but, um, very sudden. Uh, she had her health problems over time, but this was just like a smack in the face out of nowhere, so... It's been a rough go, uh, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching, uh, try to do some more uh, collection update things, I'm going to get back to selling some stuff, I know I'm saying that after posting and talking about all this stuff, but um, I really want to clear some stuff out, um, stuff I just don't watch, um, things I have duplicate of, possibly these uh, other arrow sets, but uh, I guess see what I want to do first, maybe trade them for some things, my sister took my legend extra legend set that I had, uh, which I had done the Zappy set, and fearing it would come destroyed, I'd ordered the regular set too, but it actually came okay. So she grabbed that one, so I may ask her if she wants uh, either of these, but um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hope uh, all of your orders come in soon, including Severance Black Friday, which uh, they're supposedly shipping along with this box set, so got me. Good night, everybody.